brought their home only to discover it was infested with snakes. And now they are suing. 11 News IT reporter David Collins paid a visit to this so-called snake house today. David? Well, things have gotten so bad, the homeowner has to walk through his house with a machete. They're big, they're thick, and there are lots of them. Black and rat snakes are slithering in the walls, ceilings, and living space of the home of Jeff and Jody Brooks. They've heard the snakes moving in months before actually seeing them. It sounds like a distant water um, or a light wind, kind of a swishing. It's creepy. This was supposed to be the Brooks' dream home. Walking distance from her parents' house, schools around the corner. Their four year old had plans to turn the side yard into a baseball diamond. They have an infant daughter. The snake's infestation forced them to leave. You feel like you've just put your kids in harm's way. They're living with snakes. Because our first question is just tell us that they're not going to mistake our infant for some big vermin. So here's the. Uh the machete. Jeff bought the machete for yard work. To, There's uh, now another purpose. Unfortunately, it's been um, the weapon of choice for uh, decapitating multiple snakes. Black and rat snakes are harmless unless you're a mouse or a rat. Unnerving just the same, especially when one comes crawling out of the ceiling. I found the, the seven footer and I can't I stumbled across it and it you know, it startled me. It chills went down my body, and I had my son was right behind me, so I, I, we got him outside. The Brooks tore out walls, ceilings, and insulation. They destroyed snake tunnels around the home's foundation. But experts advise it's not enough. The snakes left pheromones. The house still reeks of a strong musk odor. And they have said it's best to leave the property vacant for 10 to 15 years. Insurance won't cover it. The bank won't help unless they default on their loan. The Brooks filed a $2 million lawsuit against the real estate firm and the agent. Turns out this has happened before. Prior tenants moved out because of the snakes. According to the lawsuit, when asked about it, the agent replied they were gypsies who did not want to pay rent and photoshopped a picture of a snake to get out of their lease. It has been a nightmare. The real estate company did not respond to our inquiry. Grounds for the lawsuit include breach of contract, intentional misrepresentation, and fraud. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL TV 11 News. Unbelievable story, David. Thank you.